Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Ellie, which was just released into GTA Online, part of the SA Supersport series DLC. And as you can see, guys, this vehicle is going to cost you $565,000 to purchase, which, in my opinion, is a fucking bargain because just look at it it is based around a shelby mustang gt 500 and uh, rockstar have done a sublime job of replicating this vehicle and um if any of you didn't know already this it well not this ellie in particular i mean the gt 500 from the, the 60s version of the gt 500 is my all-time favorite vehicle my dream car and um, the film Gone in 60 Seconds is where I first fell in love with the Shelby Mustang GT500, aka Eleanor from that film. And um, yeah, man, since that film, I've, I've absolutely adored and loved the uh, Shelby Mustang GT500. And now that Rockstar have released a vapid Ellie into GTA Online, I am one one happy man. So without any further ado guys, let's get into it. We're gonna purchase this Vapid Ellie for $565,000. Meet me back in LS Customs and we're gonna see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Vapid Ellie is in the muscle car category. Now as always guys, we're gonna start this build with 100% body armor, then we're gonna go to the brakes, we're gonna get the race brakes, then for the front bumper, we've got the stock front bumper, then the standard splitter, and then the painted splitter. Now me personally, um, not a massive fan of the two splitters. I definitely think it looks better with the stock bumper. Um, you know, I, I, I think it just adds a little bit too much to it. You know, it looks a little bit out of place. So, uh, like I said, I prefer the stock, so I'm going to stay with the stock front bumper. And as you can see, we don't get an option for the rear bumper, so we're going to go straight to the engine. We're going to grab a level 4 engine upgrade. Then the exhaust. At the moment, the stock exhaust actually look pretty cool. So then we've got a side one, so it puts a little block over that exhaust um, exit hole, should we call it, uh, the rear there, and then we move to the side exhausts just underneath. Not a massive fan of them. For some reason, we're changing the exhausts, and it's changing the hood as well. What's all that about, man? Don't understand that. Fuck. Right, so, um, right, okay. So, it's like, buy one, get one free, I suppose. <laughs> so, this is um, not the greatest thing to have because you might find an exhaust that you really like but then dislike the hood or you might find a hood that you like but dislike the exhaust so that's not very good man I don't like that but anyway then we've got the another side exhaust we've got hood pins on that one and then we've got the big blocks popping up with that exhaust so these exhausts all pretty much look the same actually to be honest it's just a different hood option which is a bit stupid because it should have just been under the, a category of hoods rather than exhaust but hey ho that's what it is and then you go into these crazy fucking big blocks with the exhausts coming out of the hood as well uh, not a massive fan of them I think they look a, you know a little bit silly you're ruining a classic by putting it on there fair enough if you're doing say like a Mad Max kind of build something like that they might look pretty cool on this vehicle but for a standard just just the first standard build or race car you know they're not my cup of tea so I'm going to stay away from them um, also not a fan of the side exhausts so I suppose it's just a case of going through this and finding a hood that I like. Um, I think this hood's probably the nicest. There's a yeah. So we don't want the side pipes. We want these exhausts with that hood. I'm happy with that, man. That looks cool. So let's go with it. Then we're going to move to the lights. I'm going to go to headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then we're going to move on to the livery. I doubt I'm going to purchase the livery for this vehicle. Maybe if there's a couple of racing stripes, might chuck them on there. But we'll see. Um, so then we do start with a couple of racing stripes, but then we get this, you know, these stripes down the bottom by the skirt. I'm not really digging them. Not a massive fan of that one. Uh, obviously, that's going to be the same as the black, but in white. And then we've got a blue version of it. Then we get numbers. It actually looks quite cool, man. I actually really, really like that. For a simple racing livery, that looks pretty cool. Same again with the number seven. Um, not as nice as the number eight, because... You know, purely because I don't really like the colour green. But the blue one looks cool, especially with the white. And then we've got the 187 vintage. That's not too bad as well. That looks pretty cool. I actually like that. So they're quite simplistic liveries, which which are good, which is what I like. The 53 Classic actually looks really nice as well. That, again, not a massive fan of it. I think it's too blocky. It's too much going on. And obviously then we go back to none. I, I kind of feel like I, I need a livery on this. I don't want anything 
I don't know, that looks quite cool. I don't want anything too too extravagant though. I want to keep it kind of classic, keep it quite nice and clean. I might just go with a racing stripe, but then I don't want to go with one with the numbers on it. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with a classic twin white stripe for now. And once I change the, uh, the car colour, if I dislike it, you know, I'll come back and change the livery. So now we are going to move on to the respray. We're going to go with a primary colour because it's the only option we've got. We don't have a secondary colour option. Um, but we are going to go classic because we have a livery installed. Not sure what colour I'm going to go with um, for the outside. Maybe a red. Red looks really cool. But then I am thinking about blacking it all out, man. That would actually look fucking pretty sweet, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with a complete blacked out um, GT500. So we're going to remove the livery also. They're, they're quite cool, I think. That's probably the nicest one. The Vapid Motor Company. That looks actually really good. So yeah, I thought I'm going to go with the uh, Vapid Motor Company one. That looks pretty sweet. Then we're going to go to the suspension. I'm going to slam this bitch. <laughs> okay, go with the sports suspension. For the transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, we are going to go into wheel typing into... I'm going to go low rider. Um, I'm going to stay in the stock rims because I'm going to black them. Uh... The flares actually look quite good, but I don't know if I'm going to, if when you black these, they're going to, we've got a bit of camber on them wheels as well. I think we have. Shit. Um, <laughs> go back to the wheels. I think if I change the color of these flares, then we're going to get like a chrome trim around the outside, which I don't really like. Um, so I'm hoping I can change the color of the wheel without the, well, the whole wheel. I want the whole wheel to be black. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get it unless I purchase something like this from the low rider category. Uh, Quick, go grab the flares real quick and change the wheel colour uh, to carbon black. Yeah, and as you can see, it is keeping the the outside of the wheel chrome, which I don't want. And to be honest, guys, there was nothing in there that grabbed me, you know. So uh, in that case, I'm going to scrap the idea of the black rims. I'm going to go low rider and go chrome and go and purchase these flare rims. And because I've scrapped the idea of the black though. Um, Vapidelli. I'm going to quickly go back to the respray, go into primary colour. I'm going to go metallic because I'm not going to have a livery on this vehicle. Even though black actually looks really good, but I think I'm going to change it. Not sure what colour I'm going to change it to, but I'll let you know when I know. So I've come across this nautical blue in metallic, and I actually think that looks the bollocks, man. That suits the car really nicely. So yeah, I'm going to go in a metallic nautical blue. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my bros, there is my build on the brand new Vapid LE, which was just released with the SA Super Sport Series DLC. Now, uh, like I said right at the beginning, I am so pleased that Rockstar has released this vehicle into the game. I know we have a lot of cars in GTA already that kind of look like a Mustang or a Shelby, but um, nothing is as close as this and I'm so happy that they have released it into the game not sure about its performances yet as we are going to go for a little drive and try and figure it out but um, I don't think there's any been a, I don't think there's any I don't think fucking hell I'll learn how to speak soon <laughs> I don't think there's been any official video out yet so we don't really know for top speed or performance around a track um, but I can tell you now it doesn't feel that quick to be honest uh, unfortunately, I was hoping for a lot more, I think, just because of the type of vehicle that it is, the caliber of vehicle that it is in real life. Um, it was a classic, it's, uh, it's known for being fast, and I am a little bit disappointed that this isn't a lot faster. It seems really slow on the acceleration. It seems quite lightweight, you know, it can, you can sling it around the corners quite nicely, um, but when it comes to picking up speed again, it is quite sluggish and well like side and that as you can see as well so performance wise I don't think it's going to be that great but me for one I'm not buying this vehicle for performance I'm buying it for the vehicle that it is because it, it's a Shelby GT500 in GTA that's why I'm buying it man and that's why I'll keep it as well this is going to be one of them cars that I like so much I'm just going to keep because of the vehicle that it is it's got nothing to do with the performance I've got plenty of cars that I can do races in um, so this is just going to be a show car for me and uh, like I said already I'm so happy that Rockstar have released this into the game but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did please give me a two sweet and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time guys I'm out adios